Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is your weekly reading. Hi, Air Signs. This is your weekly reading for the week of um, April 3rd through the 9th. I lost the videos, so I'm doing them on the 3rd. But the message is the same, which is uh, let go of limitations. Let go of limitations. So I'm, you know, I can't do that, or it's not going to work. Let, let go of that. You know, infuse yourself with hope and go after what it is you want. That's my little mini message. <clears throat> Hope you're all well. I will be going live on the 5th uh, for the new moon, for the full moon. But, uh, it'll be at noon, I believe. I made the announcement on all the other ones. But yeah, it's at noon, uh, mountain time. 11 o'clock West Coast, 10 a.m. No, 2. I'm so bad at that. Anyway, I'm going to put up a little post. I'll figure it out. Let go limitations, air signs this week, right now. I'm so late. You know, I did them last night and I don't know. I lost them. Hmm. Really interesting. So we start with the lovers and then we go into the six perseverance in the beginning. This is about choice. It's always about choice. And it's like, okay, I have the card of the past. So I feel like it's about your choice of looking at the past, whether you're gonna look at it from uh, a place of, um, oh, the past is my burden, it's an obstacle, or it's an opportunity, it's an opportunity. So, you know, maybe you had a weird childhood, you know, some this one happened, that happened, whatever. Um, it's, I, am I going to use that as an opportunity or am I going to use that as a detriment? Simple as that. And then I have the page of pentacles who's, you know, has this energy of youth and a new beginning and an opportunity and uh, the ability to learn something, to be in a state of wonder. So sometimes we have, you know, trying or difficult childhoods and um, because of situations, experiences, we are able to tap into strength and courage and um, hope. You're still here. And it's like, can I look at it from a different angle? Can I look at it from a different angle? Do I have to let go of something? That's what I'm really getting. Do I have to let go of something? So that being said, if you go to my live videos, there will be one with a guided meditation, um, shifting the narrative. And that can help you to let go of anger, resentment, pain. And I'm gonna make a separate video. I know I'm getting, I'm on it. I got a lot going on. Yeah, because the, you know, if you're tied to the past, you're in the dark. If you're tied to the past you're you're taught you're tied to something false because the past is the past it, it, it's it's there it, it like we're here right now we're here right now so it's like what do i want to create in my life what do i want to create in my life? i want to create abundance and love and comfort happiness ease it takes work sometimes i mean that's why i'm you know delving deeper into like the pendulum clearing of the IET. So I can help people to release the trauma. Like that's why I'm doing what I do. So that you can be at home with yourself and be comfortable and be stable and be at home in your body and be at home in your mind and be at home in your soul, be at home in your heart. Become more stable. Yeah. I'm tired of fighting. I've given up the fight. 
I've given up the fight that's not mine. Because a lot of times when we hold on to like a resentment, we think, oh, well, you know, I don't wish that person well. Oh, oh, oh. You're taking the poison. They're not even in it. It's not even about them. That about releasing so you could be free so that you could be free and set them free too because that way you're not tied to them anymore i guess i was supposed to redo the week reading all right um advanced um, extended readings are available for members 4.99 a month please join see you soon